I am Javier Sobaro. I am a heavy equipment operator engineering training here at the Construction School. I am going to demonstrate to you how to calculate QER using the QER formula with an example. Let me show you. There are rules to remember. Rule to remember number one. To change that whole number to a fraction, put it over one. Rule to remember number two. To change inches into feet, put the inches over 12. Rule to remember number three. To multiply fractions by going across. Rule to remember number four. Divide the tag fractions first. This is the problem we probably have. It has to pour a slab of concrete that is 40 feet long, 20 feet wide, and 3 inches thick. To figure out how much concrete we need, we have to apply a QER formula. And this is how to work. Length in feet, multiply width in feet, multiply height in feet over 27. That will give you our QER. Now let's set out the formula. 40 over 1 multiply 20 over 1 multiply 3 over 12 all this over 27. Now we multiply the top numbers. 40 multiply 20, 20 multiply 3, that will give us 2400. 1 multiply 1, 1 multiply 12, that will give us 12, all this over 27. But we have to divide the first fraction first. 12 divided by 2400, that would give us 200. We carry over 27, now we divide 27 by 200, that would give us 7.4 kW. We have to ask to round it up to the next number. So, round out the next number yours, that would give you 8 kW. Thank you.